Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at the Solo SL Soft installation, temperature controller configuration and monitoring software. Now, detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. The link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there'll be links in the description below that will start you at video one. There'll be links to the rest of the videos in this series as well. So all Solo standard process temperature controllers that's a that support RS-485 serial communications can use the SL Soft configuration and monitoring software. Now this free package will communicate up to 34 or 38.4 kilobaud to monitor multiple solo controllers using Modbus RTU or Modbus ASCII protocols. So the first thing we'll do is take a look at the actual solo and you go to the website and you can actually download this software and there is a download link. You can charge, there is a charge if you want the disk itself, but you just download it free of charge right here. So once you start your download, it'll actually download that software package for you. And there's a, a description of what the actual package will do. Now, once you have it downloaded, what you wanna do is you want to uh, unzip it by right clicking and unzipping that file. Once you've unzipped it, you'll see that there's an install executable file. Double click it to start the actual installation. So it'll actually then start up the installation. Unpacking it. And you have to accept the terms of the license agreement, then hit next. Choose the destination. Now we're gonna put it on our D drive. And then we'll hit install. And now it's installing the actual software itself. Next. And our installation is now complete. Next, what we can do is we can call up our actual software. So this is what it looks like. So with our software package here now, what we should do is actually look at the um, the hardware that we actually have and the hardware here we go is we actually have our solo it's a 4896 standard uh, solo process temperature controller and it has the RS-45 communication port in the back we have it connected to a J-type thermocouple and we have our USB to RS-45 converter to communicate that to the uh, computer. And one thing we have to do on the solo is hit the set button and hold it until our configuration comes up. Then we'll scroll down to where we actually have our communication, which is right here. And that must be on in order for it to communicate to the software. Hit again. And this is our communication standard. This is RTU. So we're actually communicating Modbus RTU on this controller. Hit it again. Our unit number is number one. So we can have uh, up to 32 of these units on the network at any given time. And the software can actually communicate at the same time to 16 of them. We have our baud rate, 9600, eight, even parity, one stop bit, and there's our J. So that's all set. So our controller is ready to actually communicate to our software. And if we look at, uh, with the installation of that um, USB, if we look at the device driver, you can see here under the ports, or device manager, under the ports, you'll actually see the USB serial port, COM number five. So that is our communication port that we're gonna be communicating to, to this solo process control. Going back to our software now, it automatically adds the device here for you. And these are all the default values that you see on my screen. So you will see our device. Uh, we'll see the controller setup. We'll see the initial value. And right now it's saying that we're not connected. So what we'll do is actually is connect this by hitting the connect button. You can see our address here is one that we had. And now we are connected to our controller. And as I change the value here, what you'll see is that 
we will just increase this temperature and we'll go up to ah, that's good 28.6 enter that in and you can see the software automatically then changes our set path value up there we can also go to tools and select our faceplate and our faceplate will actually show our present value and and our set value and present value that we currently are reading it will also show the auto tune and output parameters that we have here we can uh, toggle that floating and put it back over to the side if we wanted to so there's a lot of different options that we can go we can then do our saving of our configuration as well so lots of options and we can like i said before we have 16 of these so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button below if you have any questions about the video please leave a comment below and i'll do my best to answer it if you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging please click on the link in the description below to get it a new video is put out every monday so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications thanks so much for watching I'll see you next time. Stay safe.